Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we're looking at the industrialist and the brutalist content DLC packs. So to unlock these once you've purchased them on Steam, all you've got to do is go to your tech tree, tier 2, and go all the way along to your decorations bench and you'll see the brutalist pack and the industrial pack both located here. The industrialist pack and brutalist pack are all bundled together. You do not have to buy three separate DLCs. You only have the Art Deco pack and then these two are bundled together as well. So what you need to do is go ahead and unlock them once you've purchased them on Steam. There's 18 items within the Brutalist Decorations pack and there's also 18 within the Industrial Decorations pack. The first pack we're going to be taking a look at today is the Industrialist pack. Now if I turn the light off, it is very dark. There's no fancy chandeliers with the Industrial pack like there is in the Art Deco pack. So let's take a look. I just go over here. This lamp here is actually on, believe it or not. And that's how much a light it emits. Barely recognizable. So anyways, that's the lamp. You do get an industrialist candle as well. It looks all right, but you know, it's nothing like. It does look okay, but it's nothing special. So let's go around the room and see what we've got in the industrialist pack. Ignore the fireplace, that is a part of the Art Deco pack, you do not get a fireplace in the Industrialist pack or the Brutalist pack. So, we have the Industrial Wardrobe here, I'm just storing some of the Art Deco stuff in here, minimal storage in that. We've got a shelf, it looks alright, it's a shelf at the end of the day, actually goes quite nice with the clay brick walls here, and you get the Industrialist bed. This is a TR4 bed. A nice little coffee table here as well. Very nice. And we get an industrial dining chair. Yes, you can sit in this as well. So moving on into the corner here. Industrial display cabinet. This would be nice. It'd be nice if you could open up and whatever you placed in there would appear on the shelves kind of thing. But again, you get very minimalistic storage space in here. You get another industrial nightstand here. Again, limited storage space, nothing compared to the Art Deco, which I showed you yesterday. But you do get a nice big large table here, and you get some seats which you can sit in as well. You get the large bench, and you'll also get the medium two-seater as well. And in the corner here, you get the industrial bookshelf, which doesn't have any storage at all. Moving down here, we have the round table. It looks alright, but again, it doesn't compare to anything from the Art Deco set. And lastly, we have the industrial table here. It's all right, but yeah, I am not a big fan of the industrial stuff, to be honest. It's pretty lackluster compared to the Art Deco set. But I'm sure some people will like it out there. But it just doesn't pale in compared to the Art Deco stuff. And this is the Brutalist set. Now, one thing I did forget to mention regarding the Industrialist set is that is mostly iron to craft, so it's actually really simple to do. But the Brutalist set will set you back quite a bit of cement, as that is the primary crafting material you will need to craft the Brutalist stuff. Okay, so let's take a look. As you can see, very, very stone slash cement looking like. So yeah, it's very, I wanna say Soviet for some strange reason, but anyways, yeah. Got a nice little coffee table here. We've got another table here as well, a six seater. And we've got this bench and dining chair. It feels like there's loads of chairs in this set for some strange reason. Anyways, we've got this like shelf cabinet here. It looks really nice, but the problem is very limited storage space again. And we've got the wardrobe, which looks more like a filing cabinet in the corner here. Again, minimal storage space. You definitely get more with the Art Deco set than you do with any other set by the looks of things. We've got an octagonal table here as well. It's all right. And we've got a couple of more seats and a dresser. Again, you can store stuff in here as well. Now, you might be asking why the light is on the floor, and that is a good question. It does not let you place it on any other surface. It says it's too high. Yet, you can place the candle on any surface, which is weird. Anyways... But yeah, this is powered and it'll require 150 power. So yeah, it actually emits a quite a bit of light, unlike the industrialist light, which was basically non-existent. 
but it does look very nice. So let's crack on. We've got another little nightstand in the corner here. And again, another wall shelf. Again, another bookshelf in the corner. Again, this would be not being able to hold anything. And if I say again anymore, I'm going to lose my mind. We've got a large table in the middle here, which is actually quite nice to be fair. Got another two seater here and a three seater. Again, this isn't a part of the Brutalist set. This is a part of the Art Deco set, this fire palace. And so that is it. That is the industrial pack and the Brutalist pack, which got introduced in the week 102 update for Icarus. You can purchase all of these separately on the Steam store. The Art Deco pack is probably the best, and that's the one I'd probably recommend the most. But the Industrial pack and the Brutalist pack, which are both bundled together, does give you the biggest wide of range of items, but they're not as good quality as the Art Deco pack. If you just want to support the devs and you're not really bothered about the content within these packs, you know what I mean? That's all I did it for, basically. But I'm glad I did because the Art Deco pack is something I could try and possibly incorporate into my builds. As always, thank you very much for watching. If you found this video helpful, leave a like on it and subscribe to the channel. It's absolutely free to do those two things and it does really help the growth of the channel. If you feel like you can support the channel that little bit more, you can always become a channel member either on YouTube or Ko-Fi. If you become a survivalist tier or higher on both of them platforms, you will get access to the Icarus dedicated servers. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.